Folks, welcome back to Scale is Needed. I'm Armin Hammer. We're starting season two off with a bang. We're gonna be talking about the CrossFit Games Open, motivating yourself to go to the gym, and what if Batman was a CrossFitter? Ready? Three, two, one, show. In case you didn't know, the 2016 CrossFit Games Open is just around the corner. Please no thrusters, please no thrusters. And you know what that means. It's time to dust off your excuse bin, put on your justification pants, and explain to all your friends why you suck. Remember how last year you said next year? Well, next year is now this year, and you still can't do muscle ups or string together double unders. So here are a few of my favorite excuses as to why you are not gonna be able to lock up that top 20 spot. Everyone else is totally cheating. Who's in charge of the programming? Come on. The judging standards at other gyms is total bullshit. This is just unrealistic. Double unders? You're allergic to chalk. Handstand push-ups and wall ball? <sighs> Next up, we've got motivation. It's like toilet paper. When you have it, you like it, but you only truly value it when it's gone. Look, I get it, working out is tough, and sometimes you need some help to light that fire and get yourself back in the gym. But let's get something straight here. Your workout is not a war. You are not going to battle, and animals are terrible role models. To be perfectly clear here, we're talking about leisure activities that you are choosing to participate in because you wanna look better naked. Lions, wars, and beasts have literally nothing to do with any of that. In fact, encountering any of those things will probably make you look worse naked. Now what you should be motivating yourself with is hardcore, real world shit that terrifies you. Becky from accounting won't sleep with you if you don't have abs. If you work out hard enough, maybe your dad will finally return your calls. Life is meaningless and we're nothing but specks of sand being crashed upon by infinite waves of nothingness. But you'll have abs. Finally, CrossFit HQ just released the trailer for Fittest on Earth, their documentary on the 2015 CrossFit Games, and it looks pretty awesome. If you like epic music, sweaty workout bodies, and sweet slow-mo, this has something for you. But in the middle of all of that wad porn is this quote. So you have to prepare for everything, and this is the true way to build this, to build Batman. Look, I get it, CrossFit's rad, and it prepares you for the unknown and unknowable, but Batman, really? Ignoring the whole parents murdered in front of them, spent years as a ninja apprentice, superior genetics, hyper-intelligence, and unlimited funds thing, CrossFitters just spend too much time training and recovering to effectively fight crime. But imagine if Batman was a CrossFitter. Weight in your heels, chest up. You've got this, Batman. I was sick, I went totally broken. Uh, really fucked that thing up, it was awesome. PR my friend time. Harvey Dent. Does that look infected? Rachel! Why do we force? I'm pretty sure it's because I didn't set my back during that deadlift. Nah, that wouldn't work. He'd get injured all the time because he'd be ripping his shirt off anytime he was going to fight crime. Folks, thank you so much for watching. This episode of Scale is Needed. As usual, I'm Armin Hammer. You can find everything that we did right here on FlowElite.com. Follow us at Flow underscore Elite, at Flow Elite, Facebook.com slash Flow Elite. Be sure to check out our new series, The Takeover, where myself, Charlie Zamora, and Danny Lear from Caffeine and Kilos are checking out the coolest gyms in the nation. First up, Cal Strength with Dave Spitz. Check out this little teaser.